Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. <clears throat> this is my second video on UV spectroscopy instrumentation. Instrumentation, I made two parts, part one, part two. This part two, we will see now, okay? Yeah, this is the slide what I have shown in the my previous videos also. Here, oh, I completed the light source as well as a monochromator in my first video. In this video, we will see sample holder detector. Two parts we will complete in this. So total instrumentation will be completed in your, okay, as per your syllabus. Yeah, these are the sample holders. Sample holder, main job is hold the sample. You see here, you can see here, this is the sample holder. The material with which sample holder is made is very important. Sample holder is a glass or it is a plastic, transparent plastic in case of visible spectra or colorimetry. And it is made up of a quartz in case of UV, just like a prism. Because quartz allows the UV rays. Visible allows the, the glass allows the visible rays. Okay, that keep in your mind. That's why don't use uh, quartz prism for visible and glass, uh, sorry, quartz kuwaits for the visible and also glass kuwaits for the UV. Don't use it, okay? Yeah, here, see here. Yeah. This, uh, see how look and how beautiful are there here. Uh, see here, Q, quartz, Q letter. You are, you are able to observe the Q letter here. Q letter at the top, made up of quartz, useful for the UV. U, V, G, letter on the top. Here you can see the G. Okay, that G at the top, glass, made up of glass. Visible glass, quartz for the U, V. And you can see here, these kuwaits uh, having a four sides. One side, two, three, four, just like a cubical structure. Two uh, opposite surfaces are become rough. You have to touch that only, that surface while you are keeping, while you are cleaning. That is also at the top, not the bottom. Only top, rough edges you have to handle. When you keep in the UV visible spectrophotometer inside the sample, light should fall on the transparent side. Transparent side. So that it passes through the sample. And again, it falls, the remaining light falls on the detector. Okay, don't keep uh, a reverse of that. Actually, the length is same. Each side one centimeter only. It is a cube. One centimeter cube. It is actually. Okay, uh, just like a four sides having the same. Uh, height is different. Length and width is same. Okay, not cube. It is a square. One, uh, one inch. One centimeter square. So when you touch the smooth surface, what happened? No, the smooth surface will become a rough. When it becomes rough, some of the light will be captured by the roughness. So automatically there is a disturbance in the analytical part. Always use very clear transparent one. With visibly, you cannot find the either it is a quartz or it is a visible or glass. Okay, you have to see the letter on the top. That is very important. With that only, you can be able to see either it is a quartz or uh, glass. It is nowadays, it is uh, in olden days, it was very difficult to obtain when I was in B farms and M farms. There was no suppliers uh, of these Kuwaits. Nowadays, you can put in Amazon online, you will get. Once the Kuwait is break down, it is very costly. Since it is made up of quartz, it is made up of glass, very costly. See here, you can see, uh, in the Amazon, quartz Kuwait standard spectrometer cell. Quartz, quartz. See here. Now it is it is available. It costs around the price is thousand rupees free delivery. Actually, it is three hundred, three thousand, but no problem. Thousand free delivery. Free delivery you will get. That is made up of a quartz. Yeah, here you can see the brand name is also quartz. It is also made up of, see here, it is made up of quartz. Brand name is also quartz, capacity, okay? And its weight, all specifications are okay. And this is a glass. Lab junction, 
glass cuvettes 10 mm height uh, that is not uh, 10 mm uh, 10 mm means 1 cm that is here this side this side 1 cm okay that means 10 mm height is different set of two available for the 1070 rupees okay price so that's why very here two two things you will get for 1000 it is a quartz very costly okay you will get a, only one piece for 1000 yeah that's uh, all about the sample sample holder now we will see the detectors there is a four types of detectors are there mainly here pvc that we will see one by one detectors are very important here you can see the detect they detects the light very important point is this is a light either a visible light or uv light whatever it may be main job is it detects the light how much light is fall here automatically how much light is absorbed by the sample automatically we will get in the display okay no problem in that so we will see the detectors this is the summary of the detectors okay this slide you can take a screenshot uh, i will explain you one by one very important very important first one the same only i made into cut into the four pieces first one foremost one photo voltanic cell here the name is very important photo photons will fall light uh, is called as a uh, photons photons are nothing but energy packets light uv light or visible light whatever it may be okay the light also called as photons which falls on the uh, pvc not a polyvinyl chloride in chemistry it is polyvinyl chloride here it is a photovoltaic cell photo means when the light falls it generates the volts that's why it is called a volta voltage you know voltage meaning uh, okay 20 voltage 30 watts like that voltage cell converts the light sunlight whatever it may be into the electricity electricity volts will be generated this is also called as PBC, photo barrier cell. Photo barrier. See here, one barrier is there. Barrier cell. So PVC, PBC. Here you can see photons are there. Energy, photons, radiation, light, either sunlight, natural light, or any light, artificial light, light from the bulb, light from the tungsten, light from HD max whatever it may be whatever it may be it this light after the sample from the sample the it passes no sample will left some of the radiation that radiation falls on this one semiconductor semi conductor not bus conductor semiconductor it is a metal metal that metal what it do it has a wonderful properties it takes the photons it gives the voltage. That is the speciality of the semiconductor. Higher the light falls, see here, higher the light falls, higher the voltage will come. Higher the voltage. This now we will see, but keep in your mind, name is important, photovoltaic cell. Photo converts into voltaic semiconductor. Okay, gives the voltage. Solar plates are nothing but this only, photovoltaic cell. We are keeping on the roof now. See here, sunlight or artificial light, any light. When it this falls, this is a clear structure of the thing. Semiconductor, I have already told now, semiconductor P-type, positives. All positives are there. Here, N-type, semiconductor, negatives are there. They change, interchange of these uh, things. This is called a positive-negative junction, depletion region. One side all negatives comes, one side all plus come. What we are keeping on our roof, solar plates, working on this principle only. Small solar plate, if you, you can keep in the instrument, that is UV visible spectrophotometer, if you keep behind the sample, so that it starts calculating the light, how much it is formed. 
PVC panel works by here you can see all particle of light to knock the electrons, knock out, you know, knock out beat, knock out the electron free from atoms. So all the electrons will be come outside. See here, that is a, when light falls from the atoms, electrons come outside. That is the speciality of this M conductor. So when one side, all the electrons comes, one side positive is there, automatically there was a generation of voltage. That is a simple logic, simple technique. Knock electrons from the atoms. When the photon falls, voltage generates. That calculates. Next is photoconductive cell. Photo conductive conducts the current. See here. Resistance and conductor, first of all, you have to know the basic, what is resistance, what is conduction. See, here there is one metal is there. This metal passes the current. That is called a conduction. Some of the metals, they will not pass, they try to resist the electric current, passage of the electric resistance of the copper. That time what happened, that is called a resistance. It won't allow the current. Okay, it won't allow. Some, some conducts only small. Resistance will be there as well as the conduction is there. These two are opposite in nature. Higher the conductance, lesser the resistance. That is the important point. Copper conducts the, the why we are using a copper wires in the lining and all. Because it conducts the electricity. Resistance is very less. That's why we are using a copper wires. So here what happened? Photon or energy or radiation or light, whatever it may be, when these energy packets fall on this semiconductor, decrease, it decreases the resistance. Okay, that's why it increases the passage of the current. Easily it passes the current. You have to first connect with the current, you take a metal like this, okay? Take a metal and this is having a naturally resistance, okay? And when you fall the photons, the resistance of this metal will be decreased. So it fast, it conducts fast, okay? So greater the photons fall, greater the conduction of current. This is the principle. So photoconductive cells conducts the more current when light or photons fall. That's why conductive, photoconductive conducts the current. This is actually, here you can see, this is the indication of the resistance. There is a change in the resistance, photoconductive cells. Okay, decreases the resistance when the photon falls, increases the... Next, photo tubes, tube, just like small tube, test tubes. Like a test tube will be there. Here also you can see the photo tubes, photo diode, photo tubes, photo multiplier tube also. In the different names, they use different uh, things, but keep in your mind, photo emissive cell also same. All are same, no, uh, no difference, keep in your mind. Photo emissive cell. What this do know, this photo tubes are photo, it consists of, it's also called as a photo diode, very important, photo diode, photo multiplier tube, four names are there, PT, PMT, photo multiplier tube, it is a photo tube, photo emissive cell, photo diode. It emits the electron when the light or photons fall. See here, energy, photons, energy or radiation fall on this. Electrons will come outside. Greater the photons, greater the emission of electrons. That's why it is called the emission of the electrons. When the light or photons fall, how it works? What is a diode? What is anode? What is cathode? That we will see. This is the structure. Very simple, actually, if you understand properly. See here, radiation first fall on the cat. CAT, cat, cathode. When it falls on the cat, this reflects on the dynode. Di See here, one, two, three black lines, three dynodes are there. Finally, you will get an anode. Dynodes are present between anode and cathode. That's why di means two. It is interlocked between the anode and cathode, two. That's why it is called a 
dianodes. Dianodes are present between the cathode and anode. Cat is the first. Cathode is the first. Anode is the last. Okay, cat first. Keep in your mind. So when radiation falls on the cathode, it reflects on the dianode. It gives the number of electrons. See how multiplication. See how all the secondary electrons will be come outside. These are all called. So that what happened? It generates the current, and it finally it calculates. That's why photo multiplier. It is just like a tube. See here, one small test tube like this. One tube will be there. Tube consists of these three nodes. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Like that, you can put ten also. Ten, eleven, twelve. Photo multiplier. Finally, photo uh, will be counting. How many photons is there? Like that, it is continuing and all. Okay, and the last one, not much important, photographic plate. Photographic plate. Yeah, here you can take a screenshot of this one. All four were uh, I made into this one. Okay, and single beam, double beam, very simple. Uh, here you can see the light source when fall on monochromator. Here only one beam is there. In double beam, uh, we have a two sample. and reference see here this is reference this is a standard here not like that first you have to put a blank take reading remove it remove the sample and also keep the another sample there and you have to read that is a single beam spectrophotometer here double beam automatically nullifies what is the value there blank sample blank how much reading will be nullified by the sample okay so automatically the difference will be come out this side this is called a direct suppose say blank reading is 0.1 sample reading is 0.5 you will get the value of 0.4 because 0.5 minus blank because here also solvent is there no solvent is nothing but a blank you know very well so 0.5 minus 0.1 0.4 direct reading you will get that is a speciality of Double beam spectrophotometer. Why it is called means two beams will fall. One beam and another beam. Two beams. This diagram you have to write in the exam if they will ask the subject. Here you can see the in the competitive exam they will ask in double beam spectrometer how you have to make the beam into two. Double mirror. That's why mirror is very very important point. It is a difference between a single beam as well as a double beam. See here, mirror, mirror. How the mirror? One beam fall here. Mirror passing one and it giving a one also another one also. See here how. See here. Ray is falling. It keeps the original and as well as one more ray extra will come having the same intensity. That is the speciality of the mirror. See here how the image original image is here and in the mirror another image also came. See how it makes a two. in the same passion original will be passes and another race will be comes okay this diagram you keep in your mind mirror is the splits the beam <coughs> double beam it makes the single beam into double beam one beam will fall on the sample another beam will fill on the reference okay and thank you i will end my uh, uv spectrophotometry completely here okay